we're back. Greetings, royal family. So, Shaz of Sunset, this is season nine. I'm going to do episode 10 and 11 all in one shot. All right? Now, here's a question that I want to ask. Am I the only one that still can't believe that MJ is someone's mother? Right? Anyway, so London, babe, babe, babe. You know, the, the new one to the group that uh, MJ brought to the group to the, into the fold. Yeah. She, she's annoying. So she's visiting Reza, right? And she lets him know that she met Shams, MJ's son. And I said, this girl can't be this aloof, right? Reza starts crying. <laughs> you know how Reza gets down. London says that she didn't know that this was a sore spot for Reza. And I'm asking where in the H E double hockey six have she, has she been? London pulls out her tarot cards to get answers about Reza meeting up with Tommy. Now, remember, London, she's MJ's friend, and I don't understand how she didn't know about the beef with Reza and Tommy. And how does she not know that Tommy does not want Reza to meet Shams and MJ and Reza are trying to work out, out their friendship so much so so that Reza can meet Shams? How doesn't London know this? Babe, how don't you know this, babe? Ooh, she says, babe, every five, every three seconds, and it's annoying, right? Anyway, MJ, we shift gears to her. We see her setting up, like, a nice romantic evening at home for her and Tommy, right? So she ordered Red Lobster. She decorated the backyard, all that she-she-foo-foo nonsense. So Tommy, he's yawning after a long day. They're sitting down. They're eating because MJ has expressed to London that – her love life has taken a hit, right? Due to Shams being born, you know, both Tommy and MJ are new parents. They're working parents and they're just still trying to, Shams is still young and they're still trying to, you know, figure things out. So Tommy, he's at the table, he's eating, he's yawning after a long day. MJ, she reveals that the drama with Reza has affected the marriage, you know, Tommy and her's marriage. Um, and Tommy feels that MJ does not have his back. And I can totally understand why he feels that way, right? Because here it is. Reza was so vile and disrespectful uh, after MJ gave, right after MJ gave birth, during MJ giving birth, a little bit before too, if I'm not mistaken. And Tommy wants to feel supported. You know, some vile things were said about his wife. He goes to defend his wife, right? Yeah, he took matters into his own hands and he got physical, but not with Reza. And um, what's the boy name? Uh, what the heck is the boy? Adam, who's, this is all his fault. I will continue to say that forever. Um, and yeah, MJ and Reza are working things out. That's great, honey. But if I was Tommy, I'd be pissed too. Like, yo, this dude called you all types of whatever, called you while you were giving birth. <laughs> Rush into emergency surgery, all because your man don't have no decency and I get pissed off and you and him are working it out. Tommy is not against MJ and Reza working out their friendship, but Tommy is steadfast on the fact that Shams is not going to meet, <coughs> excuse me, Reza. He wants no parts of Reza at all. And his son ain't meeting Reza either. And MJ has no choice but to respect that. But MJ keeps coming to Tommy with the, well, you know, Reza's really sorry. And the Tommy don't want to hear that. Reza took out a restraining order on Tommy. And he's Reza knows what he's doing too. Reza is dangling this restraining order to keep control of MJ because Reza is a control freak. This has nothing to do with him wanting to meet baby Shams. He didn't give a damn about baby Shams when MJ had to be rushed into emergency surgery after she gave birth. He didn't even come to the hospital to see MJ. This is about control for, for, for Reza. Nothing more, nothing less. And what you're able to get away with with MJ, Tommy, another man, you ain't going to be able to get away with. And I am team Tommy on this one. He is not obligated to meet Shams. You don't own MJ or her uterus or what her uterus produces, and you don't own Shams. I don't care if you've been friends for 60 years. All of that went out the window when you trashed her at that pool party and continued to trash her on social media. Every action has a consequence. Suck it up. 
excuse me, <clears throat> moving along. So we see Reza and Adam and Reza, you know, he really gets on my nerves with this. He and Adam were attacked by Tommy BS. Child by, he pulled up some, some plants in your backyard. You weren't even home. You've done worse, Reza, with your lying self. So I guess this made Adam take, you know, self-defense classes. <laughs> and he and Reza, they're in the park, they're practicing, right? Anyway, so Reza, they sit down and Reza tells Adam that he met with MJ. And because he wants to meet Sham so bad that he told MJ that he's going to drop the restraining order. Now here it is. All of this is Adam's fault. If you know, you know, right? We're not going back down that memory lane. If you know, you know all it, and Reza is the one that gets to say, oh, I told MJ that we're going to drop the control. He can control Adam too. It's all about control with Reza. Now Reza is coming to Adam to ask him what he thinks. Now, mind you, this is after he told MJ that he would drop the restraining order. Now you go into your husband, Adam, to ask him what he thinks. I just feel like Reza really needs to cut the, cut the trap, the, the, cut the trap, cut the crap. Sorry, y'all. Like he's trying to really act like he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. No, I, I just feel like you and your man put yourselves in this position. Sorry. I feel like Tommy was defending his wife against the vile things that, you know, Reza said to MJ. And again, this all started because of Adam's behavior. That's, that's pretty much it. Moving on to episode 11, Gigi, you know, she wants to take the crew on a healing trip and you all know every season on these reality shows when there's a healing trip it's basically a different place outside of their normal environment for the crew to kick up and cause some more drama <laughs> so mj you know she's telling tommy about trying to reconcile with reza and tommy ain't having it see mj mj you are really trying to sell tommy on allowing reza to meet shams and this is exactly what tommy was trying to tell you about he is, you're not having his back. <sighs> Can you imagine if the roles were reversed? <laughs> Please. Anyway, MJ, I just feel like she needs to wake up. Um, again, Reza, he doesn't want her to be happily married. I've said this before. He knows that Tommy is not with his BS. And Reza, he's gotten so used to being able to treat MJ like crap, in my opinion, and then come back when he wants because Reza was the man in MJ's life, right? And... Now that Tommy is here, you know, Tommy's the man of the house. And I just feel like Rez is a phony control freak. Bottom line, he, you know, he uses that, oh, we've been friends for 35 years, you know, when he feels like, okay, I want to come back in MJ's life, then I'm going to crap all over her. The way that he dogged her out at that pool party, mm -mm. and then proceeded to dog her out online, like I just said, the telling her personal medical business, screaming about her uterus, in front of everybody at the pool party, so much so that Mike had to check him. Honey, Reza wouldn't even be able to talk to me. You hear me? He wouldn't even, and then MJ, you sitting up here defending him? Girl, you better cut it out before Tommy be done with you and Reza. All right, so it's road trip time now, right? So they all load up, and they are they got this big old tour bus, and they're on the way to Gigi's little healing shindig trip somewhere in the woods. Reza and Mike, they haven't seen each other since the Friendsgiving situation. <laughs> so there's a little bit of tension there. Um, they're both taking, like, little digs at each other, bickering like they always do. Now, Reza says that Mike won't allow Paulina to come around. How quickly we forget. Miss Reza, Miss Reza, honey, you keep Adam at home locked away sometimes. So knock it off. First of all, wh why Adam ain't on the trip? Hmm? Adam didn't come to this trip. Adam didn't come to Palm Springs uh, last season or the season before that when Paulina went on a trip with the crew for whose birthday? Mike's birthday when she was telling MJ what she was telling him or MJ was telling her. Uh, Adam wasn't there either. So you have some nerve talking about Mike. Not wanting Paulina around. Child, please. London, babe, she chimes in and sides with Mike about Reza being condescending. He is condescending. Honey, Reza snaps and tells her to shut the F up. And I said, not the same girl that was just coddling your BS about you wanting to meet Shams. She pulled out her good tarot cards and you telling her to shut the F up. 
as long as you are agreeing with Reza, he's cool with you. He likes ass kissers and puppets like Destiny. <laughs> the moment you are saying something that he doesn't agree with or you're telling him about himself, he gets ferocious. Now, I remember in the first couple of episodes, I told Miss London, babe, to stay out of it. I think it was episode two. Stay out of it, babe. He almost chewed her head off. Then London checks Reza for his nasty attitude. See, everyone deals with Reza's BS, right? People get tired. Reza, no one has to deal with your BS. I said before, I don't care how long I've known you. You can get checked. So they arrive at this creepy looking house, right? In the middle of nowhere. Reza was real nasty to her too. He's like, shut the fuck up. All she said is, yeah, I can kind of see how Mike, yeah, I see how Mike, I feel sorry for Mike. Real nice. How you gonna tell her mind her business and she on the trip with y'all? But if she would have said, Mike, you're wrong. Reza would have been like, thank you. Oh, he really gets on my nerves. Anyway. So they arrive to this house. It's creepy looking. It's in the middle of nowhere. So Nima, he reveals that MJ has been sending pics <laughs> of her saddlebags to Nima and a few others. So MJ being who she is, she admitted that, you know, when she's mad at Tommy, she sends these type of videos or pictures to her friends. And I'm like, what, <laughs> what, what level of dysfunction is this? Anyway, Gigi and Reza, they're sitting down. Um, and they're talking and Gigi is high, but she's bringing up, you know, good points to Reza. She asks him, why should she trust him? Especially after he dogged out MJ and the issues that they've had in the past. Then they flash back to Reza's vile moments. Reza starts that crying crap. You know, how you, are. you know how Reza does full of crap. And he starts all that crying BS saying that he's a better person, blah, blah, blah. Same old, same old. So that was pretty much episode 10 and 11. The next video is going to be episode 12 and 13. And 13 is the season finale. And then I'm going to come back and give you the reunion part one and part two in one video. So shout out to some of my viewers who sent me messages on Instagram Asking where the hell are these shots of sunset reviews? This one's for you, babe. All right, I'm signing off. Make sure you watch the next video. Peace out.